Hello, everyone. Hi, so many <laughs> faces. Oh my gosh. Um, it's so good to be here. Um, I come from you right today from State College, Pennsylvania, um, but I'll share a little bit of how I got here. Um, I grew up, I was born and raised in Long Island, New York. Um, I was always singing, always dancing, always putting on a state, putting on a performance, yeah. And then my parents decided to move to North Carolina. My mom and dad met at Rikers Island. My mom was a pharmacist. My dad was a deputy warden. Match made in heaven. And then we um, ended up moving to Charlotte. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I moved to North Carolina. I was a city boy and I was like, what are trees? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Um... And I went to a performing arts school, so it, it's just in my blood. I was always putting on a performance. Um, I was always storytelling. Um, and then I ended up at Western Carolina University. I auditioned for like 20 schools, y'all. And I decided that the mountains were the place for me. Um, that Asheville area, there was just so many, there was so much creativity. You can't beat in-state tuition there, so that's amazing. Um, it's a real thing, you gotta think about it. Um, and Right after college, I went straight to um, Mamma Mia, um, the national tour. I opened up a brand new company in 2013. Sing singing and dancing to the music of ABBA for like two years was like very exciting for me. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting. Um, and I ended up getting a call to transfer to the Broadway show. I made my Broadway debut um, with Mamma Mia. And soon after that, I've done a couple of things such as cruise ships and and uh, regional gigs. Um, and yes, you're so right, Hayes. I have been able, I've been blessed to be able to perform on some in some big houses, especially in North Carolina, whether it be Durham, Raleigh, or Charlotte all three of them with different shows. Um, so if you've seen Matilda at, I think it was in Durham. Oh no, it was, at, it was in Raleigh. Matilda was in Raleigh. Mom was in Durham. And Hamilton was in Durham. It's so difficult to think to- It to, is, it is. Yeah. Um, and then Hamilton was also in Charlotte. Um, but after Matilda, I was into, um, I went into Hamilton. Um, the Broadway show was, exciting and um and exhilarating but also Hamilton was one of the hardest shows I have ever been a part of there's just so much information and so much choreography to learn um alongside all of my performing um education became very very uh important to me even when I was in college I what I felt was missing in performing arts education was the invited and safe space for young artists to bring in whatever is going on in their world onto the stage, into the dance studio, into the acting space. Um, there was this idea that you had to be perfect and you had to have nothing going on, when in fact, that is actually an, a hindrance to your storytelling, a hindrance to your... Um, to your creativity. The, the women that Bloom here works with, they have incredible stories to tell, incredible challenges, as well as wins. And for someone to- <laughs> Just texted. Oh. Someone to think, oh, yes. For someone to think um, that you have to act as if none of that ever happened um, is, was something I saw and something I knew that I wanted to contribute to positively. So since college, I was always holding space for young artists specifically to bring whatever it is they're going through in the world and bring it into their art. Tell the story honestly and know that you're not playing a character. You're playing a human being. You are human first and you have so many stories to tell that you can weave in to the the text on the page, the movement that a choreographer is giving you. Um, so that is how I've became the, the educator that I am now. Um, since then, since the pandemic and all of that, um, I have since um, out of the, it came out of nowhere. I have since um, gotten the opportunity and the offer to be uh, a dance professor here at Penn State University. Um, so my husband and I, got up from our Harlem apartment, which we were so happy to be, be in, even during the pandemic, um, 
And now we live in uh, State College, Pennsylvania. And I am teaching every single day at Penn State in the musical theater department. Um, and I'm still, it still rings true. I allow, I invite the students to, especially now when there's a lot going on in the world, feel your feelings, bring them into the room, and let's create art. Let's celebrate what 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 um milestones you have made yeah let's let's reflect on what are the challenges that you've been through in your life and let's create art let's let's take personal responsibility and find the the next ring on the ladder and let's climb above and let's really celebrate let's really um let's really step on top of anything that's happened in your life but let's not forget about it yeah because it, it it made you who you are today i so wouldn't say it's coming out of nowhere tyler there's obviously a reason that you were a guest lecturer at penn state and it's because your talents go beyond just performing on the stage and we're already seeing some of those that we will continue to let me remind folks right now if you want to ask questions to tyler get in the chat i will go to your questions first uh, i've got some that i want to ask myself but get in here that's part of the reason you're here to ask about his performance on the stage to ask about social justice let me start right here just to sort of personalize it i know we've got folks joining us from literally around the world around the country but yeah. bloom here is located here in raleigh uh where we have an awesome community and we're doing good work and we'll give you a pass you do not have to remember the difference between and i won't even say i'm right but the the durham performing arts center and the duke progress are like they, they have similar names it's hard to remember and raleigh and durham are right next to each other so we're gonna give you a pass on remembering which time you remembered on which stage but i gotta start here are you wearing carolina blue tonight as an homage to the old north state tyler is that what the blazer is it's not intentional but i'll go with it okay all right so and well, let me continue that question. What do you rem remember about your time here? Because again, you talked about growing up in New York and obviously I'm gonna pull to it because I'm a North Carolina guy, but I don't make light of it. I know that obviously your time spent in North Carolina was hugely influential on you, uh, not just when you come and visit and perform here for weeks at a time, but I mean, wh where you go to college, that matters to everybody. And you're making a huge impact on college students right now at Penn State. Well, what do you remember about your time spent here in North Carolina, either at Western Carolina Carolina or in the Triangle or in the uh, greater Charlotte area performing? Well, um, I think <laughs> it's amazing because I know that one of the core values of Bloom here is um, community. And anytime I'm either performing in um, North Carolina or my growing up, um, especially when I was um, on tour, whenever I would visit, I always had a place to stay because of um, a connection that I made within within school or anything like that. I'm here today because of a connection that I made whilst I was on tour. So it's just like you cannot beat the fact that yes, you are like suburban communities, other than like city, city communities, there's this idea that you're always stuck in a car. I know I've had that that horrible idea, but for some reason, I always tend to make incredible collective of friends and connections when I'm in uh the North Carolina area. Um, so community is such a big thing here. I, I don't know, maybe I gravitate towards that. Um, maybe it gravitates towards me, but it is definitely something in the water for sure. Community is such a big, big core value here. It's a core value for Bloom here, obviously. And um, there's a reason why we're all here today. And I recognize a few faces, you know?